Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove and replace side curtain airbag on Ford Focus 3rd generation MK3 guys. This is the generation from year 2012 to year 2019 guys. Stay with us and we'll explain how to do that. Now, uh, everything guys, we will explain everything that we do. Your specific model, depending on the configuration, it may differ. So always consult your manual first and Working on airbags is extremely careful, it's extremely dangerous and those things can kill you guys. So if you're not qualified and certified, I wouldn't recommend to do the repair guys. And consider this entertaining video and not a how-to video. Quick introduction, we guys have more than 200 videos on Ford Focus and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why we do that? Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully you'll find the information helpful. In the meantime, we're cleaning our headliner. So we have a video that explains how to clean headliner. Check it out. It's a super, super good video guys. And we'll, we'll show you how to make your headliner look like new. Something that looked like that now looks like this guys. So. Uh, let's start on it and we'll show you how to remove and replace side curtain airbag now first we need to drop the headliner and then we'll continue to the airbag so open it guys right there you have two little caps open those okay don't lose them that's what they look like now we'll have one like that on the front as well the same cap guys okay right there but this one is missing so check it out, ours is missing. Okay, let me focus, Torx 20, start looking bit. If you guys need to buy any tools or parts that we use, check out the link in the description of the video below, guys. You can save quite a bit of money. First screw is out, now we are working on the second one. Okay, the second screw. Right there, that's a terrible visor, guys. We'll be replacing the... Okay, quite a few parts on that focus, so... Just grab it and pull it guys. If you have one that has the light in the mirror, you might need to disconnect a wire here, but ours does not have a wire guys, so you don't need to worry about that. You can see the visor is out. Now, if your visor clip is broken, let us show you guys how to remove that one as well. You have one cap on the back side, open that cap. Okay, perfect. And inside guys, you have one more guys, one more screw, just like the one that we already removed. No, no, way, way, way wrong. Yep, right there. We got it. I don't know how they got coffee on the ceiling, guys. But right there, this is the clip. That's how you remove it. So we'll go inside now, guys. I want to show you, okay, what we'll be doing here. We have quite a few things apart already. We'll demonstrate on the front one, okay, right here. But the right one, uh, the rear one will be exactly the same. So, now okay let's i'm going to pass the camera okay so we can see a little bit better like that if you come on the back side right here guys okay there is one little bitty notch where you get a screwdriver or a plastic panel too get it in and you need to come okay down don't go up because there is one metal plate that you don't want to catch so make sure you stay until the end and i'm going to explain okay what i'm talking about push in and pry guys okay okay what we're talking about now okay right here that metal thing okay you need to come here push it and okay when you push it guys you pull down don't grab that metal plate because if you do guys okay you're going to go ahead and damage uh, um, your uh, your ceiling here your roof and you won't be able to attach the new one and don't do what i did guys you have one wire on the front okay right there check it out that wire on the front ours is uh, it just came loose but there is one thing that you press in and you pull it out and you get that thing out of there just like that this one here guys is exactly the same way the one on the back like the one we did on the front we're going to go ahead guys and uh, start removing okay that's the trim piece uh, AP work cover that we're talking about I think it's called AP work cover so we'll go ahead guys okay get a plastic panel removal too now quick introduction okay you have a side airbag here guys so disconnect your car battery at least one hour before you're doing that because if you guys damage something you can blow up that airbag and it can kill you so if you're not qualified and certified don't do the repair guys i wouldn't recommend it. consider this an entertaining video not a how-to so we grab the cover guys okay airbag is right here i can see it so don't go inside just grab with your fingers okay and start popping okay those clips loose guys we have a few clips here and 
And let me see where else we have a clip now, guys. It looks like we have a few. Okay, a few more clips here that are holding that piece in place. So I need to see. Okay, check it out now. This is uh, this is the airbag. Okay, this is the airbag right here. Those are the clips there. So right here we need to disconnect. Okay, we need to disconnect that device, guys. Okay, this device in order to be able to pull it out. So let me see how we can do that now. So this is it guys, okay that's what I'm talking about. So right here now with the screwdriver on the back side, okay we're going to pry that piece out. Once you pry it out, okay that AP piece, okay, it should come out. Okay, I think we have one or two pieces holding there, okay two clips on the front guys, still holding. So let me get a clip removal tool and see if I can lift it up somehow. I can see the clip from here guys, but it is, okay, it is stuck there. I can definitely see that clip. Okay, let me see if I can show you. Okay, let's pull that cover up a little bit. And right here on the front, okay, don't. Okay, that's where that clip is located. It is stuck guys, so we need to go ahead one of them came out super easy, the other one doesn't want to. So let me break it loose somehow and see if I can lift it up on the front. Maybe a little bit because otherwise... Okay, came loose. Two of them guys, two clips. So one right here, okay, and one over there guys. And that trim piece cover, the whole thing came out. Now you have to be extremely careful because your side air back okay is right here as you can see. So the one on the passenger side guys should be exactly the same way like this one so we won't waste your time so we'll go ahead and remove that one now. So now guys we are going to go ahead and open that cover okay right there and we are going to uh, remove probably there is one screw with Torx 20 just like the sun visors. Okay, go ahead and remove that one guys, this clip is out, perfect. Now, we have guys, one just like that on the other side, okay, this is on the uh, on the driver's side now. So remove that cover again, and we're going to go ahead and remove one more screw there. Okay, I'm trying to get a little bit of light, nope, we got it wrong. Perfect, this one coming out as well. Now, what else we need to do guys? Okay, right here we have that. Okay, that one, that's on the passenger side that we need to remove. And let's see which way it opens now. Okay. We have to be more careful. I'll hold it on top because we just broke that one, that cover. Okay, like that and carefully lift it up. We were not very careful when we did the first one, so you can warn guys from our mistakes how we did that. Okay, two more screws guys here. With the same Torx 20 star looking bit. One is out, now just one more. We might need to go get an extension for this one here. No, it worked. Okay. One of the screws fell and that thing comes out. Okay, just like that. So we're disconnected here as well. That's where the two screws are located. Now we need to start with all the covers that we need to remove to get to it. So we'll show you guys how we're going to do that now. So we're on the driver's side now guys. Okay, and we're going to start prying. Okay, that cover there for the seat belt. So let's see if we can pry that out. Okay, perfect, a few clips. Okay, great, just like that. You can see two clips on top. Now, we grab that white piece, and it has a few more clips there, guys. So, with the plastic panel removal too, makes things a little bit easier. Careful around your airbag on top. 
Okay, pull down now. Pull down. It should slide down, I think. On some cars it slides down, on some it has clips. So really need to check to make sure that you don't break yours. Because most likely... Okay. It just... Okay, let's check it out to make sure we don't have a screw or something holding there. So actually under that cover that says airbag, we have one screw, guys. Alright, we got that thing open. Okay, you can see that's how it opens. And that screws with the Torx 20 star looking bit. Okay, the one that we already used, we might need to get an extension here. Or we can just get the screwdriver. Okay, and while we're doing that... Okay, screw came out guys, perfect. Now, that's why you shouldn't force things if they don't come out, and that's why it's a good idea to watch the videos. Now pull towards us a little bit and down, okay. It's a little bit of a weird thing, okay, but it comes out. On top, we have one clip here, one guy, that goes in that hole right here, guys. And we leave it just like that. Okay, we can leave it hanging on this side. Now, we're going to switch positions, I'll go on the other side, so we can remove this one here. So we'll go ahead by removing actually that cover on top now for the airbag. So careful not to fly in your eyes guys, but you just get a small screwdriver and you remove it. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and remove the screw that we removed earlier, remember? Okay, with the same Torx 20 star looking bit. So that's what we're doing now. Up, oh, almost comes out. Perfect. Now. Check out guys how the ceiling, okay, that uh, headliner is already coming loose. So we'll go ahead, pop that cover loose there. Remember the two clips that mount towards each other. Perfect. With that plastic clip removal too makes things way easier, guys. Pull and then pull down. Okay, great. We're done here guys, now everything is going to happen in the back. I'm going to open the hatch door. If you have a sedan, things may be just a little bit different, but not much guys. But the video will still be very helpful. So we open guys the hatch door on the back, the trunk, and now we're going to start removing that cover. Okay, we have a few screws that we need to remove with that Torx 20 star looking bit. One is out, one more there. Let's get this one out, perfect. Now, with the clip removal too, we'll start removing a few things here guys, a few covers. Okay, let's see if we have anything else here holding guys. Okay, but before we continue guys, we have to remove the front one first. We might have an airbag, uh, by the airbag there, another cover. And bolt, yep, we do guys, so remove that cover. We have a bolt, a screw, excuse me, with that Torx 20 star looking bit. We'll go ahead, remove it, now grab it, and we'll pull it out, guys. Okay, this one has a few clips probably holding there, but it's hard to get on the inside. Okay, perfect. Now slide down. Okay, right here there is another one here holding, so we're going to see, okay, what is going to happen there and how they're going to come out still. We have no idea. So, it might have a clip or two. Yep, it has a few clips, guys.
that are still holding there so uh, we will get a heavier duty clip removal too or the screwdriver and we'll try to get it out but I wouldn't recommend using metal tubes because you don't want to blow things up there okay perfect this one came out as well those are the two clips that we removed so that piece comes out now what next guys okay we need to go ahead and remove that piece on this side so we can get the other piece underneath because it gets on top of this one so I think if we get a clip removal too okay that piece now should come out okay a few pieces actually those pieces come together so that's fine now we have a piece right here coming out okay and we just get it out like that it actually had three clips two clips only one two that the two pieces attach to each other okay and we should be guys okay able to come loose on this side now same thing needs to apply okay on the on the driver side two screws that we need to remove later we'll have two more clips that we'll be removing guys i'll show you where they're located and we'll be able to drop that thing loose one screw same thing that we did on the other side I accidentally dropped one of them now let's pull that one out hopefully guys you can we're trying our best to get you the best angles that we can so you can see things a little bit better that thing is really tight there by the way the one right there seems to be the tightest for all so yep it came out now we need to do the top one there if you have a sedan things may differ here a little bit but you get the idea guys okay one is out now just one more there okay almost almost out yep perfect now we're going to grab that other piece here it's coming loose a few clips here now careful there not to come out with the things slide down okay and the two pieces actually separated pretty easily here so you can see we're done here as well now towards the back we have two more clips with a clip removal too guys we go under that one okay we are going to grab that one hopefully we don't break it and okay almost came out i had to uh, re actually change the battery quick on the camera okay this is the clip guys let me let me focus quick and explain to you okay what it looks like okay having a hard time focusing here with the camera so okay this is it this is the clip right there same thing applies okay to what we have right here on the other side okay this one is a little bit stuck don't press too much on your headliner okay came loose guys so this one actually came up with that plastic piece where it goes in but it's fine we're going to investigate in a little bit so if we grab that headliner now guys for most of it it should be loose so we need to see if we have anything else holding there okay around the door seals check it out door seals are holding right there so remove those just grab and pull them out they're holding pretty big time it dropped on this side okay we do the same thing on the other side we have a few wires that we need to disconnect on top so make sure you stand till the end so we'll go ahead grab those okay now the wires that we need to disconnect guys actually everything goes towards the front so let me okay okay we have right here i need to disconnect the holes okay for the rear windshield wiper guys so right here those two things the black things okay we disconnected it now we're done here i need to come towards the front and check where the wiring harness okay connects 
Okay, to the headliner. So let's investigate here a little bit and see how we can get there. So now towards the front where the A pillar is. Okay, we have wire that we need to disconnect, guys. Okay, right here. You press in and you pull it out. Now that wire needs to come out. Okay, hold on. Now we have another wire there. Oh, see where I can disconnect that one now because some of it came loose. The holes we're going to disconnect from right here. So I'm going to grab it with two hands. Okay. It actually came loose, but I just have one more wire holding guys, so I need to see how to disconnect that one now. So now I'm going to get a Torx 20 star looking bit now guys, and uh, we're going to remove the glove box actually. Okay, because we cannot get to that wire, I cannot see where it's going. Maybe it's going to the light. Okay, that is located in the foot well here i cannot tell for sure guys so okay it's loose on this side now i'm just trying to see what else we have underneath so we pop that cover open and right here there is another screw for the glove box assembly okay now we came loose on this side guys, I'm trying to see if we have anything else holding or if we have something underneath as well. We'll go ahead guys and actually close the glove box now. Okay, I like that. Now underneath guys, okay, we have that cover. Okay, I'm trying to get a little bit of light that we need to drop. Okay, once you remove that cover, okay, I'll come facing the other way now. Okay, we'll have two more screws that we need to remove guys Okay, here we'll need to remove two more screws in order, okay, to remove the glove box now So we actually guys uh, removed two more screws. I'll show you where those are located If you come underneath, okay, we need to disconnect our auxiliary port here So press in, but if you come underneath guys on the glove box on the very bottom guys Okay, you're going to have two screws right here Two screws right there guys and you reach all the way from the back okay from right here and on the other side so let's go ahead and see if we if we can get to that wire now guys okay it looks like okay this is the wire actually right there and it goes to the bcm this is the body control module guys so what we need to do now okay we need to go ahead and Disconnect, okay, that wire right there. Over there, guys. So we are disconnecting. Okay, that clip now. Okay, almost came out, guys. Almost, we just have a little bit left through there. And after that, I think, okay, we'll be able to actually pull it down. So, okay, let me see if I can grab it and pull it off. We need to get the pliers for that. So let's see. Okay, almost. Okay, if this one came out guys. Okay, this one is out. Now we need to see how we're going to get it through all the way through here and get it up there. So we guys uh, remove that wire. Okay, and let's see if we can uh, if we can pull it out through here actually. Okay, it comes in a very weird weird angle, but it will come through there guys. We just fed it with our fingers through the bottom. So <laughs> we had a little bit more room earlier but we twist it to show you guys how to get it out and second time it comes out a little bit harder. Okay, it's out. So now what we need to do, we need to go ahead guys and we need to just grab that uh, headliner. Okay, and everything should come out. So let's attempt to pull it out now. 
and see where it's going to come out to them. Is it the back, is it the front, and how they got that thing in. Okay, so we're going to attempt to pull that thing out. Uh, we might need to get a second person, okay, to help a little bit, but it's not gonna come through the, uh, through the back, guys. I think it will come through maybe a front door, guys. That's what we will attempt to do. And I wonder if we have to remove our center console to do that, actually. So let's go ahead and see, okay, how that's going to happen. Maybe it will go all the way to the front and then comes through the rear door, guys something like that we just need to experiment and see where we're gonna get it out of the car from so it's loose but we need to get it out <laughs> so eventually guys it does come out through the back I think if you have a sedan you remove your rear seat as well okay hold on a second okay yep it's coming out And that headliner guys, okay, just came out of there. Okay, you can see that's how we got ours out. And it's all the way out guys. You can see just like that. So we're going inside now with the headliner removed guys. Okay, we're going to demonstrate how to remove. Okay, the uh, left. Okay, this one will be on the left side, the passenger side curtain airbag guys. So stay with us, that's what we will be doing. And uh, you have to be extremely careful that thing can blow up in your face uh, any minute, guys. So consider that entertaining video again, guys. So let me let me come in the car all the way because, okay, let me just move a few things here and there so we don't break things because I have everything stacked up here. And uh, what we're going to do, we need to come towards the front. We have one bolt here that we need to remove. Okay, you can see. And we will need to remove that bolt first there. This bolt, okay, I think it's 10 millimeter. Okay, let me let me check them if they're tense. Yep, all of them are 10 millimeters. So let's focus on the front. Okay, and I'll go ahead and remove that bolt now there. Okay, perfect guys. This one came loose, bolt stays here. Now okay, very limited room by the way. We need to come up, okay, and check out, we have a few more bolts to remove, but before we do that, okay, what I want to do, I want to disconnect, guys, the wiring harness. This is one thing that we need to do. Otherwise, okay, what can happen later, it can hang on the wires and we can cause damage. So, let me see, okay, how that clip is uh, actually attached. Okay, perfect, that orange thing, never ever use screwdrivers or anything like that. That orange thing needs to come out, then grab that connector with fingers. I recommend just to use plastic tools, pull it straight out without twisting. Now, you can see, this one, guys, came out. What else we need to do? We need to get a clip removal tool, guys. Okay, and we'll need to go ahead, actually, and uh, remove, okay, that clip right here. So we can uh, disattach it from the airbag. Okay, came out guys, that always, okay, my, my heart just keeps a beat guys when that happens. So, let's come to the left side now, to the front, okay, and we need to start removing guys a few things. Okay, a few bolts. One here. Two. Three. Three bolts guys. Perfect, right? Now, we go to the back side right here guys. Okay, and it looks like... Okay, these two nuts needs to be removed as well. One nut. Two nuts. Okay, let's see guys what else we have here. Okay, we have a few more that we need to remove towards the back. Two bolts. Okay, check it out. Just like that, right? This is great. This one is actually stuck there, guys. So. Now, let me see what else we have here, guys. Okay, because we have a few more clips holding that airbag towards, towards the roof. 
and that's where things have to be very careful we need to pry those clips open now one two okay here it comes out now let's point towards the back towards the back something's holding there okay and that whole side airbag guys okay just dropped out like that so that's how we guys remove the side airbag uh, you can see on a Ford Focus guys MK3 some models may differ always consult your manual hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time